Well, they want their kids in the school buildings, in the classrooms, not learning from home. Kentucky Attorney General Daniel Cameron's new efforts to stop the governor from closing Christian schools to in-person learning is gaining more support. It all started with Danville Christian Academy seeking a restraining order. The night team's Tyler Emery is joining us live right now from a Louisville school that's also joining this effort. Tyler, what'd you learn today? Well, Doug, the Highlands Latin School here on Frankfurt Avenue joins over a dozen other religious based private schools across the state claiming the governor's latest restrictions on schools violate their First Amendment rights. Our clients rights are being violated every minute claiming the governor is violating religious freedoms. The Highlands Latin School is among over a dozen others asking a judge to keep classrooms open after all public and private schools were ordered to move to virtual learning starting today. We know that there's a lot of it in the community, but we're not seeing uh, significant cases in the school. Attorney Chris Wiest is representing Highlands Latin School in a separate lawsuit from the attorney general. He says parents and schools were blindsided by the governor's school restrictions. He has robbed us of our ability as parents to make the right decisions for our children. Susie Barnett and Linda Parrish are both mothers of two children, all who attend Christian Academy of Louisville. When you make a decision like this, as a unitarily one size fits all decision, then you didn't just take away a curriculum, you took away relationships. Both are just two of more than 1,000 Kentucky parents who have filed a brief backing the attorney general's lawsuit. I don't think you should just make a sweeping mandate to say that children can't be in school. Kids need to be at school. Parents need to have their children at school. The governor says over 10,000 kids over the last two weeks had to quarantine, adding the closing of schools was a last resort. We're not treating any school differently. We're treating them all the same. But Wiest says it's not equal, while other places like the Science Center or YMCA's are still allowed to help kids in person with their virtual learning. We're trying to get the kids back in the classrooms this week. Next Monday at the latest, Wiest says, Barnett and Parrish say as quickly as possible. According to the mothers, Christian Academy has remained safe and open since August 19th. If everything has been met and exceeded, we should be able to move forward without government intrusion. At a hearing today in Frankfurt, the judge said he will consider the case and issue a ruling likely sometime this week. Live tonight for the night team, I'm Tyler Emery.